All right, Periscope, as they say. If you're watching via YouTube, this will be up on YouTube uh, too for you Periscopers. But um, yeah, I'm doing what I love, y'all. Yeah, I caught one. He was all beat up, like either he got in a fight or got in a fight with a with another fish or a prop. Let's see if I could cast with one hand. I'm usually a two-handed caster. Ugh, no, I'm not very good at that. Not with my left hand, at least. Um, fishing with the worm. Anyways, uh, you know what? You're never alone out here in the great outdoors. Even when there ain't no people around you, you're never alone out here. There is so much life around here. Underneath the water and on top. All the birds and stuff. I live right over there in those trees that's where I live which by the way the sun's going down as you can tell if you're out there in Phoenix you can see there you know the sun you know it's still bright out there in Phoenix but here that's what it looks like here that's where we're at anyways let me uh, do this real quick Flip you around that way and get a couple of casts before it goes too dark. Oh, I'm going to do this. Let's see, there's a good place. Right there. What about right there? Man, I can't find a good place. There we go. Get back out of here just a little bit. No, it's, um, I caught one. Had a lot of bites, but I just throw them back. I'm not out here to catch dinner um, or anything like that Gosh, dang it. Uh, so there we go we're just out here having fun my truck's in the shop I got some fault codes on and uh, everything yeah we're still on crap I'm sitting here messing around oh I know what it is punch the switch on here there we go. So, trucks in the freight line at dealership in Shreveport. So, I'm just out here kind of wasting a little time. I got started on uh, Netflix on uh, Sons of Anarchy. See, I'm always behind the times on everything. So, I just got done with season one of, of uh, Sons of Anarchy. Just pretty cool, cool show. Um, like I said, I'm behind the times a little bit. Uh, but don't y'all love it out here? I wish y'all were out here with me. I wish we had a big old pontoon boat out here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. Ah, crap. Come on. I wish we had a pontoon boat with all of us truckers get up on here and catch a bunch of fish. I'm catching uh, white bass out here. Had a little small something nibble on me a while ago. Um, that'd be kind of cool if I caught a fish on here, right? Right here, live on Periscope. That'd be kind of cool. Um, what I'm thinking about doing this fall, doing a little bit more fishing. I'm not used to fall fishing around here because uh, the duck hunters, the duck hunters get a uh, get up on here on the lake, and uh, they pretty much got uh, full control over the water you know don't want to get shot you know you just don't really want you just don't really want to have a bunch of pellets flying at you you know what I mean you're not really gonna get shot just have stuff landing on you but uh, so yeah I wish we could kind of be kind of cool have like a big old pontoon boat, a whole bunch of them, get out here and catch a bunch of slabs, you know, crappie, white perch, whatever you want to call them, gosh, uh, it's about time for myself some new line, let me tell you, I use uh, this braided stuff, you know, and this is about two years old, no, it's not that old. It's about a year old. This 
grill is about two years old. I'm using a uh, my favorite Nabu Garcia. Crap, come on. Using Nabu Garcia. I'll show you what it looks like here. So I'm looking. See, it's what I use. This is my reel. The rod is a graphite series. Um, got Bass Pro Shops written on it. Uh, let's see, the rod costs about 30 or 40 bucks. The reel, about 80 bucks. Most I ever spend on the reel, but, uh, you know, I figured, you know, it's Abby Garcia. Um, I like these casting reels is what we call them. They cast long ways. Anyways, I'm about to call it quits, but I'm fixing to pick you up and show you what it looks like underneath here again. Let me uh, get a few more casts story of my life. Let me get a few more casts and then something uh, something grabs my attention. I can kind of see where the, uh, the, the the front's coming through up to my north. I'll show y'all here in a minute. The cloud bank up there is probably up well up in Oklahoma right now but uh, you, know, you kind of see it kind of coming in. It's supposed to get here in the morning. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nice cooler day. Ooh, that was a good cast. Right underneath those lily pads. Nothing was there. See, this is what I do out right here. I'll show y'all. Let me reel this in. And then I'll let y'all go. Let me show you what I do. Okay. Just flip you around. Okay. Well, first of all, there's the cloud bank I was showing you about. So, uh... Yeah, so what I am, what I'm fishing is these lily pads, right? And I love lily pad fishing. <laughs> it's really, really fun. And um, so you don't really get this kind of fishing on most uh, man-made reservoirs. Uh-oh. Uh, most man-made reservoirs, you're not going to see stuff like this. Um, these are... Pretty much, this is a natural lake, you know. This is a God-given lake. I mean, come on, man. Look at this. God gave this to us. He made this for us to catch fish and to kill ducks. And if you're not on the water, there's plenty of deer out here, too. Plenty of deer and plenty of hogs. Man, there's a bunch of feral hogs out here. Uh, let's we'll see, we got coyotes and wolves. We do have some wolves, and we have the mixture of, um, the, the coyote and wolf mix. They have a name. I can't really think of a name right now. Supposedly, there's some black bears around here. I ain't seen them. Uh, we got gators out here in these waters. Bunches of beavers and river rats. Um, gosh, just so much. I mean, we've got all sorts of waterfowl. You know, between teal and ducks and wood ducks. Um, not very many geese. It's not a real big geese area. Uh, but all the birds that you can think of, you know, that come out here in Texas and Louisiana, is right here. I mean, this is just a paradise of life, let me tell you. And the we have a problem with the giant Sylvania. Uh, in years past, but this year's not bad. I think it's because last couple of winters have been real rough, which is good. Here, here's a couple of ducks. Look like they could be wood ducks. A little early for them, but they got the big head. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can't see them. Man, I wish you can saw them. There's two of them there. Um, had the big head like a wood duck, but uh, anyways. Okay, y'all. I'm going to uh, let y'all go. This is long enough. So if you're watching on uh, YouTube, you can uh, hook me up here on Periscope and you can kind of see this live. I do a lot of trucking stuff like everyone else does, a little updates. But um, this is neat, right? You got you got to have a like 4G signal and 
this is like one of the only places in the lake that I could get a 4G signal. So, all right, y'all. From uh, Caddo Lake, Texas, or as they say, Soggy Bottom, which, by the way, if you ever wonder why I call this Soggy Bottom, they filmed a movie here back about almost like 40 years ago called Soggy Bottom USA. Look it up. Um, Pale Rider, if you're still watching, you will um, like that uh, show, that movie. I forgot, I forgot who's in it. Guy was in a lot of westerns. Uh, Don Johnson was in it when he was like real young, um, before all the Miami Vice stuff. So, anyways, y'all take care, man. We'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna get a few more casts in and uh, call it a night. Hopefully, the truck will be done by in the morning. <laughs> Doubtful. So I may be doing this again tomorrow. <laughs> Good way to spend a day off, relieve some stress, right? hear that dog it's a hound dog over there by the house that kind of like the neighborhood dog and I don't know if you can hear that to tell you how tell you how quiet it is out here I'm hearing a jet it's way above up in those clouds you can hear them Anyways, y'all got to be here to see it, you know, to, you know, really get the full grasp of what it's like out here. Um, anyways, we'll talk to y'all later. 73rds.